So Google, once again, may have just changed the AI landscape by releasing their new model. And I'm going to explain to you why this might be a bigger deal than you initially think. So yesterday, we got a tweet from Demis Asabis, the CEO of Google DeepMind, and he said that he's very excited to share the best coding model that they've ever built. And that today, they're launching the Gemini 2.5 Pro IO edition with massively improved coding capabilities, ranking number one on LM Arena in coding and number one on the Web Dev Arena leaderboard. Now, this is coming as a surprise because not only is this only the second time Google's released a major update that has changed the game, this is a time where this is the only time I've truly seen a company release a model with a very specific use case, such as coding, be so clear. And because Google has done this, it definitely changes the landscape in terms of what offerings people are going to use, which I'll get into later. One of the things that was said in this tweet is that it is especially good at building interactive web apps and this demo shows how it can be helpful for prototyping ideas. And in this short scenario, they show you how you can quickly sketch something such as a prototype or an idea that you are working on for an app. And then of course, input that into Gemini's multimodal feature, open up the canvas and ask it to code that app really quickly. Because of the preview feature, you can see right here that you're immediately able to get a working prototype, which is remarkably effective for demonstrating the abilities of the system and of course, exploring any idea you have and working up a quick prototype. This is most certainly the step slash direction we're heading in when it comes to prototyping ideas and judging whether or not ideas could actually work in the marketplace. Now, by far, the most surprising thing about this model was that it took the number one spot in terms of overall web dev and coding. When we look at the leaderboards here, Gemini 2.5 Pro, the most recent one, manages to surpass Claude 3.7 Sonnet. Now, most people don't realize the significance of this because of course, it doesn't seem like that much of a big deal. But over the past few weeks and few days, I've been seeing time and time again that people are basically saying that Gemini 2.5 Pro is by far the best coding model. Now, it doesn't seem like that's a big deal. Okay, so now Gemini 2.5 Pro is the best coding model. Well, you have to understand that Anthropic, that was their main offering. One of the only reasons people used to use Claude 3.7, despite it costing so much, was the fact that it essentially was just the best in terms of being able to code. It even started this whole vibe code revolution. When we actually take a look at what Claude's main offering is, coding is the number one use case that most people cite. You can see one user here says Claude is so good at coding and reasoning. Is it just me or is it head and shoulders above GPT-4? Another user says Claude is a magnitude above GPT-4 for coding and other tasks, in my opinion. And this user claimed to have spent a thousand plus hours with LLMs last year. So now, the reason this actually changes the game is because Google is actually the number one. And I understand that it might be thinking, okay, well, of course it's going to change the game. Google are now number one. Most people are going to switch to this. The reason I'm actually saying this is because it isn't just number one. It's a decent jump above Claude 3.7 Sonnet. And because Google Gemini has such a large context length, I noticed that many users are talking about how they're able to rewrite small code bases completely with one prompt. Now, I don't think anyone's going to completely stop using Claude, but I do think that this is definitely going to change the AI space because maybe just maybe if the next model from Anthropic isn't able to match what Gemini 2.5 Pro has done here, then maybe they might start to focus on other areas. But what's crazy about all of this is that this also takes away ChatGPT's main offering. Google Gemini 2.5 Pro ranks number one on all categories. One of the main reasons people used to use, or should I say still use ChatGPT, is because it always would offer you the frontier of intelligence. Whether it be 03, 04, or 01, usually you'd know that ChatGPT slash OpenAI would have access to the state-of-the-art model. But for now, it seems like Gemini 2.5 Pro scoring number one across all bounds shows that they're making further gains. Now, what's really crazy about this and why I think this is such a big deal is that this is the second time Google has done this. Before they did it with the 2.5 model and many other models such as the video models like VO2, which are just levels ahead of Bob Sora. But now we can see here with the 2.5 Pro preview, this is the second model that is once again, number one. The two top models in the AI space currently are Gemini 2.5 Pro models, the Pro preview one and the Pro experience one which is a remarkable feat considering just six to eight months ago, many people wouldn't even dare to touch a Google product. 
And this is why I say this is truly game changing. What happens when OpenAI and Anthropic no longer offer the frontier and intelligence for AI? And the crazy thing about this is that I don't even think Google is slowing down. Remember that this model is called the IO model, which means that it was released before Google's IO annual developer conference where the company unveils its latest tech advancements. It's going to unveil the product news, the future innovations, which are primarily aimed at developers and the tech community. Now, this event is key because it provides a platform for developers to get updated on Google's ecosystem and learn how to enhance their apps and services. And of course, with that being said, usually there are many updates with regards to AI. So this AI model being released just before Google I.O. shows us that Google are really trying to press the frontier when it comes to offering frontier level intelligence. And let's say this trend doesn't change for the next 12 months. If Google still remains in the number one and two spots in terms of overall frontier intelligence, and since we know they're deciding to build out many broad product offerings, it's quite likely that it may actually change other company strategies. We've already seen OpenAI no longer focus on frontier intelligence and more so focus on providing a good product experience, essentially just focusing on the customer experience over providing models that do better on the benchmarks. And I think this is definitely what many companies are gonna to start to do because competing for increased levels of intelligence, it's almost reaching a point of saturation where the models are so smart that the increased gains that you get from models like O3 and O4, they don't even get used by the average user because people just aren't using it on an average day. Nobody's asking PhD level questions at the rate at which you would expect them to if we're going to talk about mass AI adoption. The average user, well, the average time that we've seen most users get onboarded is when there is a new cool AI trend such as the Ghibli images, which onboarded millions of users to open AI. And I think that's what other companies are gonna focus on if they can't compete for frontier intelligence. Now, speaking of benchmarks, what's interesting about this one, some people actually claim that Google actually failed this model because there were other areas where the model went down. But I would disagree. So right here, I'm gonna give you guys a quick overview. The 2.5 Pro Preview one, which is what we have today, we can see here that on the areas where it matters, such as the code generation, we can see that it improves around five to 6%. And I think this is a key, key marker on the fact that Google is focusing on specific areas to ensure it manages to maintain its lead. Now, of course, Claude 4 is in the works and they did say it's gonna be released soon, but Google's iteration speed is ramping up. And I am wondering if Anthropic can come back with a model that's able to do even more. So when we do take a look at these benchmarks here, it's clear that we can see that this entire model was designed to factor code at the heart, which means that I'm now actually wondering what AI companies like Anthropic are going to do if Google starts to eat into their market share. As always, the AI industry is never slowing down. There's always multiple changes to stay ahead of. And now that Google have released this incredible coding model, I really do wonder where things are going to head next. Later on, I'll release a few tutorials showing you guys how you can code these interactive apps and demos. But for now, this major jump here I think it's just indicative of what we have to see in the future. It's quite likely that the competition for AI is going to be even more fierce. But overall, let me know what you guys think. Are you actively using Google products or do you think this is just more benchmark hacking? I personally do use Google Gemini on a day-to-day -day basis and I find it really good when dealing with things of long context. It really just excels there. As for coding, I'm also seeing many users report that Gemini 2.5 Pro is a lot better than anything we've ever seen. So with that being said, let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys in the next one.